Hey everyone, I'm Tech Steve, and on today's video, I'm going to show you guys the basic features and what you need to know about the new Amazon 10.1 inch show. Now, the unique thing about this particular unit is that it has an articulating screen. So let me give you an example. If you're watching the show and you come over here, it then follows you. Or if I come over here, it follows me again. So in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to set it up, show you some features you can do, and you can also turn this into a security camera to protect your home. So sit back and relax, and let's get started. So here it is, guys. This is the new Amazon Echo Show. And today I'm gonna show you guys the charcoal model, and they do make it in glacier white. So the overall dimensions is 9.04 inches tall, it's 6.7 inches wide, and it weighs about 5.6 pounds. Now, the unique thing about it is that it can turn around almost a complete 360 to follow you. So with the built-in motors, it's very quiet. And I think you guys will like that. Another thing you can do to screen is that you can pivot it up and down to get the best viewing angles whenever you're using the video chat portion of it. On the front of it, there's also a 13 megapixel camera and that can be used when you're doing video calls so it can zoom in, zoom out without losing any kind of picture quality. I will tell you that it needs the camera to follow you, but if you don't want to use that feature, you can just simply hit the switch and now the camera is disabled. So I looked up some of the skills on the Amazon store and it seems like it's only gonna be compatible with the Amazon application. So if you wanted to use the video chat, you're gonna to need to go ahead and have someone download the application on their phone if they don't have an Echo Show themselves. I would tell you, it does have a pretty good audio system. It has a three inch woofer and two one inch tweeters to deliver some pretty good bass and high response. Now let me show you how easy it is to connect the device. I have an iPhone here. You just slide down the screen, you hit the settings, you wanna go ahead and press on Bluetooth, and then you can see right there's the iPhone. You wanna go ahead and press on Echo Show right here. Now connected to Steven's XR iPhone. And now it's all set. So let's listen to an audio clip so you guys can hear what it sounds like. I'm gonna tell you guys right now, after listening to the speaker, for being such a small compact size, it sounds fantastic. In fact, I would say, no, I'm not gonna say amazing. But anyway, um, it kind of reminds me of the Echo. So if you guys haven't checked out the video on this, I did some sound uh, test on this. And the Echo basically has the same audio system because it has the dual tweeters and the woofer. So it seems like they took this and just put it right over here. Now, the reason I play Bluetooth is because Streaming online, you don't want to have any copyright uh, infringements, so that's why I play Bluetooth music on my videos. But I will tell you that it supports all kind of streaming services. I know it supports Amazon Music. It can also support the paid Apple Music. It supports Spotify and all kinds of other formats. Now, there's a few other things we need to talk about before I show you, start showing you guys some setups. So uh, let's jump right into that. So far as I can see, it has four microphones on it. There's one on the front. Then when you look at the top here, there's two right there. And there's one here on the back. Now this is a mute button. And you have your volume up and down. Additional to that, that's that switch I showed you guys earlier to disable the camera. So one thing I like about the shows units is that they have their own menus inside of them. So you can use the Amazon Alexa app, but you don't necessarily have to. So this is how you get to it. You just slide your finger down from the top and you'll get this row of buttons. If you hit the home button, it basically goes back to where you started. But if you slide down again, you have your brightness. You also can turn the motion off and on right here. You have a do not disturb in case it's late at night or you don't want to make any sounds. And you have settings. Now there's a ton of settings in here. We're not going to go over everything, but I'll just show you guys some of the things that I feel is important. First of all, you have Bluetooth and this will show all the different devices that are connected through Bluetooth. You can press network right here and inside of there you can change your different Wi-Fi or change the password just in case something changed in your system. And you have display and brightness. Now there's a few different ones you can do here. I have it set up where I can manually move it, but then you have these little switches over here. So you can have it to automatically adjust the light in the room. You can have it to get brighter based off the sunlight. And you can also have it set up where the colors on the screen adjust itself based off of colors in the room. Now the next thing I'm gonna show you guys is motion. 
and this is what you would use for the turning feature. Now there's a couple ways you can do this. You can have it to move according to your voice. And I would think that's why they have so many different microphones so it can know where you're standing when you're talking. You also have a preference here. And right now I have it set up to turn during all activities, but if you don't like that feature, you can choose one of these below. Now I'm gonna show you guys the mapping feature and the way it works is I put something behind this so when the screen turns, it stops. And this is ideal if you put it against a wall and you don't want it to constantly keep moving. So we can go here, then hit view. So it just hit over here. Now it's gonna go the other direction. Hit again. And now it's calibrated. So we can just hit next, next. And for some reason at the end it turns. I'll just put it back here and press done. So that's pretty much how you set that up. So now back on the main screen, this is something that will be important to you guys. This is wallpaper and clocks. So you can use Amazon photos. You can also log into your Facebook, choose albums. You have Alexa photos, so you can use the application for that. But I'm right now using just this basic built-in one. So that's the different ideas you can do. And it'll do a slideshow of your pictures. Now here you have night mode, so you can change it, the behavior whenever it gets a certain time. So for example, if you don't like the brightness, you can go right here and you can schedule a time to start automatically dimming things down and also uh, getting ready for the next day. You can have it to wake up at a certain time. And then you have auto sleep. And then over here, you have a 24 hour clock if you like military time. So this one is very important. This is called home content. So it has all kinds of different things that it's gonna cycle through, showing discovery, new movies, news. And you can go through this list here and basically customize it and remove things you don't want and check off things that you do like. So that's definitely something worth looking into and adjusting it. Then you have sounds and that's basically your media and it has an EQ. And I will tell you guys, when I let you guys hear that demo a minute ago, I had everything right here in the middle, but I could increase the bass, treble or mid bass. Now, if you want to customize it, you can go and hit device options and you see it's set up as echo 10. I'm hiding my address. But then you can change the wake word from Alexa over to Amazon computer or Echo. And let's call it computer. That way I don't trigger anybody's device. There you go. And you can also restrict things that's viewed on the screen if you don't want people to be able to see it and things to try. And if you're new to the Alexa equal system, you can use these different commands to help you get used to it. So if you have a system like the Ring doorbell or any camera systems that works with Alexa, you can also use this camera right here, do your smart application and watch what's happening in your house. So let me show you guys how to configure that. So what you would do is just press on camera and then you would click on home monitoring. When you want to activate this, go and hit continue. Now you need to add the password that you use on your Amazon account to get this active. And then you'll get a little pop-up like this that is all set. Now you have this live view and you can delay the video feed here and you also have audible alerts and that's pretty much the options in there. And uh, I'll show you guys how this works in, in a few minutes. So that's pretty much all you need to know about the main system. And again, this works on most Alexa show units, but now let's go ahead and check out the uh, live feed that you can do from your smart device. So if you open up the application, you can go down here to devices at the bottom and then you can see there's one that's labeled guard. Now, if you look at this, you can go adjust this so your devices can actually become like alarm system. So if you're home, you leave it on home, but let's say if you press, I'm away, you'll get a notification and now your devices are starting to watch for any kind of problems happening with your home. Now, another feature you can do, if you turn this off and go back to devices again, you can then hit camera and you can see the echo has showed up here. I can press on it. Now you can see it's accessing my device. And you can have conversations. So I can hit speaker mute and mic mute. Mic, 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 mic. So here's a few of the things you can do with the screen. So I showed you guys the settings, but if you slide over, then you have a few things you can do here. First, you can communicate. And if you have other Alexa device, you can do drop calls. You can make announcement for your household. You can also call people. And the great thing about this call function is that you have a dollar. So if you have the phone number, you can just manually punch it in. Now you can also send messages and show contacts and uh, we won't get too far into that. Now next you have music. So when I did some tests, here's some music items that pops up on here. But if you want to use the music features, you need to go into the Amazon Alexa app and set it up. 
Now, next over here, we have routines. Again, this is something you set up through the application, but you can trigger if you're home or if you have a ring doorbell, you can have that set up right here. And you do have a more feature so you can uh, ask it uh, traffic reports, start your commute, screen time, stuff like that. Next, we have smart home. So all my devices in my home for Alexa are all disconnected, but you can see I still have the Echo Glow systems. So if I click on them, I can change the colors. I can also turn them off and on right here from the device. And once you have all your devices connected, you can go here, you can see everything in your house that's connected as far as lights or any kind of appliance that's Echo compatible. Next, you have video. And under videos, you can see you have Amazon Prime, Netflix. You can log into any of these accounts and play them anytime you want. So if I want to play this show, I just click on it and it'll start playing in real time. Now, I can also go over here and click on Bing. This is kind of like Amazon's web browser. I can then pull up different things I want to look up. So let's say I go to my website. Now I have a web browser right here. So if you guys want to go ask some questions on the website, you can upload pictures, things like that. Just, uh, just saying if you haven't uh, joined the website already. But, and it also will play videos. So I can go to YouTube here. And if I press on the video, Hey everyone, I'm Tech Steve, and on today's video, I'm going to show you guys everything you need to know about the... You can see that it does support HTML5 videos as well. And the last feature down here is alarms. If I want to set alarm, I can add alarm right there. Or since I have this set up with the voice command, I can say, hey computer, set alarm for 10 a.m. Alarm set for 10 a.m. tomorrow. And if you slide over, there's other things like here, you can ask it, will it rain? You can put it in party mode. So there's some cool features that you can do with this device. So here's the bottom line. If you're thinking about upgrading from an existing show unit, or if you have the 10 inch model, if you like to articulate and scream, or just to like to have something that's better for video chat, or like you're cooking and you move around a lot, this is gonna move with you. And I think you'll like that functionality. But if that's something you don't care about, just keep what you have. Why go buy something that you don't need? Now, if you never had an Echo unit all together or Echo Show unit, you probably would want to go with the newest model because it has a really good audio system. So it'd be great for, you know, friends coming over whenever we can do that. And the screen quality and the camera is really good for video chat. So all someone needs to do is just download the Amazon Echo app. They can call you directly as long as you're in the contact list and it'll be fun for that. Now, I will tell you that on this video, I didn't go over all these commands because I know some of you guys will watch it. Sometimes you don't but I made a 30 minute video on the Amazon Echo and Echo Show fourth generation that goes over tons and tons of commands you can give it. So go check that out if you wanna learn more about that. But other than that, I really like the product. I think you guys will go check it out. I'll leave you links so you can go read other people's reviews and see if this is a product for you. I'm Tech Steve. Make sure you go and give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I'll catch you guys on my next video. Peace.